gang? Coach Todd here. Hey, look at that website. That is amazing. And what a handsome young lad that is on the screen. And look at these informative articles. What a gem of a website I've just found. Oh, wait. That's right. It's ripclub.net. That's my site. Goodness. <laughs> Oh, God is going to humble me somehow. <laughs> hey guys, Coach Todd here. I'm going to show you guys something that's pretty snazzy. The My Fitness Pal app. I've never shown you guys how to use My Fitness Pal with the app, which saves you a crap shafe ton of time. Just a ton compared to using the website. The website's handy dandy. But the app is on the go. You can keep track of stuff while you're, you know, at restaurants or grandma's house, whatever. This is awesome. Hopefully that blinking red light doesn't bother you guys. That's just the GoPro. So what I want to cover is the essentials of MyFitnessPal for tracking your nutrition, your meals, and your macronutrients. I'm not going to cover all the features that MyFitnessPal app has to offer because I know somebody's going to comment and say, oh, why didn't you cover this or this or this? I'm just covering what I use in the MyFitnessPal app to get results. I don't care about adding water into MyFitnessPal. If that helps you, awesome. Track your water intake using MyFitnessPal. Um, I don't enter my exercise because it adds the calories back into my allotted calorie intake for the day. Whatever I burned in the exercise, MyFitnessPal adds in if I log my exercise. I don't want it to do that, so I don't log my exercise. I just log, plan, track my nutrition. That is it. So I'm going to show you guys the key features. Right now I'm on the home page. This is just showing, showing a news feed of my friends um, and the posts from my fitness pal saying so-and-so is logged in for 10 days in a row. And you can like and comment those things. But what you're going to be using the most is your food diary. So... I've already entered some stuff today. If, <laughs> here's a good tip. If you want to just delete something, just slide it to the left. So simple. <laughs> Whoops. Just slide just slide and delete. I'm going to delete this stuff because I want to show you guys how quickly you can enter the items. So, to enter a food item on my fitness pal, See this big old plus button? And the MyFitnessPal app might have changed by the time you see this video, but essentially the menus and stuff and the process is the same. So right here, they've added this plus button where you can add your food, select what meal you want to add it to, and if you eat the same things almost every single day, like I do, it gets really quick. If you go to the Recent or Frequent tabs on MyFitnessPal when you're entering a food, you can go real fast, like breakfast, boom, vanilla shakeology, banana, unsweetened almond milk, scoop of peanut butter, whey protein, add, boom. I've already entered my breakfast. There's 640 calories for breakfast. Okay, that's how quickly you can enter foods. The two tabs that you're going to be using the most are the nutrition and the goals tab. These are the two things that I use. I don't use the reminders, steps, hello healthy friends, message, well... I respond to people who message me on here. Um, settings I don't really mess with. Goals and nutrition is where I spend most of my time. I'm going to go to the nutrition tab and show you why this is so important. The pie graph is cool. The pie graph is cool to snap a shot of that and post it in one of my challenge groups. Say, hey, I hit my, my targets for the day. You can see you know, your goal is 30% carbohydrates. You're at 38, so you got some adjusting to do. But where the real, real money is, is right here. You can see that little white pie graph right there. I don't know how well you guys can see it on the screen. But, um, but right next to it is a list view button. That's what I use. I don't pay attention to the pie graph. Here is where the money is. You can see I've eaten 17 grams of fat for the day. My goal is to eat 42 grams of fat. I have 25 grams of fat left to eat for the day. Uh, for carbohydrates, I've eaten 63 for the day. My goal is 142. And I need to eat 79 more for the day. For protein, uh, I've eaten 63 grams. 
uh, I need 237. I have 174 left to go. So you can see how easy this gets at tracking your nutrition when you break it down into numbers that are manageable, which are grams of fat, grams of carbohydrates, and grams of protein. It becomes incredibly manageable. So I'm going to show you guys. That's where you can see whether you're on target for your goals. This is where you can adjust them, which what I just clicked is the goals tab right there. So I don't pay any attention to this. I go right to the nutrition goals. This is where you set your calorie intake and the percentages of your macronutrients that you want to, to hit depending on your goals. So what I want to focus on, I want to focus on a bulking diet. So I'm not going with 1900 calories, which is more of a cutting diet for me. I'm going to go with 3200 calories a day, hit the check mark. I'm going to change my macros. I'm going to change my carbohydrate intake to be 50% carbs. That means that 50% of my calories for the day are going to be coming from carbohydrates. Um, my protein intake, I'm going to drop that down to 20%. And my fat, I'm going to bump that up to 30. Hi, Jude. My little boy just woke up. So, um, so that is like a bulking nutrition plan uh, as far as macronutrients go. And if I want to do let's say let's say I want to do like insanity and I want to maintain I eat 2700 calories on insanity and let no let's do P90x3 uh, 2700 calories is a maintenance intake on P90x3 what I love about P90x3 is the macronutrients they actually recommend in their fitness guide which is 40 percent carbs 30 percent protein and 30% fats. That is an incredibly well-balanced nutrition plan for whatever goal you have. Then it just comes down to calorie intake for losing weight or gaining mass. So this is good for any pro any Beachbody program, in my opinion. Insanity, T25, P90X3, um, Body Beast. If your goal is to bulk, you're going to want to go with a more bulking ratios as far as macronutrients but this works well for all types of goals if you want to lose fat a little quicker maybe you bump your protein up to 40 percent drop your fats down to 20 if you want to lose fat even quicker maybe you would bump your protein up to 50 percent drop your carbs down to 30 percent that's a fat shredder diet like you would see in p90x uh, the original p90x which is what i actually use to to lose my first like 30 to 40 pounds and then I switched to 40 40 20 and increased my calorie intake to 2300 calories and I lost another 20 pound like 20 or 30 pounds so that's this is a really easy way to adjust your macronutrients according to your goals and again if you go into this more tab down here it's the goals tab and the other one where you can see whether you're on target for the day is under the nutrition tab. And then click that list view so you can see what your goal is and how many you have left for the day. I don't track sodium or sugars. People ask me that all the time. I do not track them. And the reason I don't is because most 95% of the food I eat is natural, whole, healthy foods. So I'm not concerned about sodium. I'm not concerned about sugar intake. The sugars I eat are coming from natural sources like fruit. And the sodium I eat, usually it's coming if I choose to have like some sort of packaged meat, whether it's like turkey sausage or maybe it's Canadian bacon, that's where my sodium is coming from. But I never go over 2,500 milligrams per day, which is the national recommended average. So I'm not worried about that stuff. I don't really track it or pay attention to it. Um, I only pay attention to fats, carbs, and protein. So that is the basics of how to use the MyFitnessPal app. So I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions at all, you guys know that I answer my emails constantly at CoachTodd at RippedClub.net. I would be happy to help you out. Um, if you have questions on the app or MyFitnessPal in general or tracking your nutrition for whatever fitness program you're doing. And as always, I do want to tell you guys, I do offer one-on-one -on -one free coaching. You're going to get me. You're not going to get some assistant you're talking to when you're dealing with me through email. I am the one 
who wants to help you reach your goals. That is my goal, is to help you reach your goal. That's why I became a coach. That's what I'm passionate about. That's why, you know, I believe in Beachbody's products. I believe in what they have to offer. I believe they can help people lead healthy, fulfilling lives. And I want you guys to lock arms with me and help me get the word out. So if this video was helpful, guys, please share this video on your Facebook wall. Give it a thumbs up or share it on Google Plus, Twitter, whatever. Just let's get the word out there about how simple living a healthy, fulfilling life can be. It's not this, you don't have to be a stick in the mud to be a healthy person. You know, I can track my nutrition in less than five minutes a day using the MyFitnessPal app. That is key, guys. That is key for people. Five minutes, that's all it takes. And if you if you fail to plan, then plan on failing. But if you plan, plan for success. That's what I'm talking about. That's what, that's what planning is all about. It's about planning to succeed. So if this video is helpful, guys, help me get the word out. Share it. So I know... You haven't seen my face on this video, but I look forward to seeing you on the next one. I love you guys. I appreciate you, and we will talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.